Uh, thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for watching this video and please welcome back once again to my channel I'm just requesting you to please subscribe so that we can grow this platform together and also you can press the notification bell so that YouTube can automatically update you immediately I post a video here and to my returning subscribers I really want to appreciate you so much I really want to say thank you so much for your continued support because without your support then this channel uh, basically cannot be where it is currently so feel very much welcome as you watch and I really don't take your support for granted today being on Sunday we all know that uh, the political big weeks William Ruto the president Rilo Dinga and maybe the former head of state Uhuru Mweke Kenyatta will be attending their Sunday services so I will still follow up on them and I will also follow up on each and every political event that will take place today so that I can update you later on because that is always what I normally do on this platform. So having said that, let us go straight into our critical analysis for today. And in this video, ladies and gentlemen, I just want us to talk about Relo Dinga's elder brother, Oburu Dinga. Who was praising William Samuel Ruto so much for outsmarting both Raila Odinga and Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta and the entire Azimio Lomoja Alliance in the previous 2022 general election. The main reason as to why Oburu Odinga is still bringing up that conversation up to date yet it is now the past. It is because it is very, very much hard for Oburu Odinga to actually believe that William Ruto defeated them. William Ruto is now the current president of the Republic of Kenya simply because of the mistakes that Azimio Lomoja Alliance omitted in the previous 2022 general election that costed Raila Odinga's presidential bid for the fifth time. It is very, very much hard for Oburo Dinga to believe or to accept that Rilo Dinga actually lost the previous 2022 general elections. He never saw it coming. Oburo Dinga was one of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders who were very much determined. They knew very well that this time round, Rilo Dinga is going to win the presidency, is going to become the president of the Republic of Kenya because he had everything that it takes for you to become the president of the Republic of Kenya. But the mistakes that they committed actually costed them a lot. So on Thursday, March 2nd, Oburo Dinga decided to spill the beans to the public on the mistakes that they did that costed Reno Dinga's presidency on and how also William Ruto outsmarted them. So, of course, Oburo Dinga is talking about two major things that William Samuel Ruto was very much focused on. But the Azimio Lomoja Alliance took that for granted and it really costed them. First of all, Oburo Dinga is talking about the electoral process. Secondly, Oburo Dinga is talking about the system and the security. So on the electoral process, Oburu Odinga is telling us that William Samuel Ruto analyzed so much on the electoral process and he used the hibernative uh, pretense as his number one tactics. So basically here, Oburu Odinga is trying to tell us that William Samuel Ruto took time to analyze carefully, to understand the electoral process on how it is being done from the ground, from the process whereby a voter goes to the ballot box, box to cast the vote. And the way that vote goes up to uh, the final results, the entire process. William Ruto took time to analyze, to understand the entire electoral process as his number one tactics. That is what Oburo Dinga is telling us. But Rilo Dinga, on the other hand, 
he just knew that people will go to vote. There is the deep state, there is the system, there is Uhuru Peke Kenyatta there. And with that support, he will automatically become the president of the Republic of Kenya. But he never knew that. He must consider the manual registration, the use of uh, the, the, the Kim's kit and the rest on how it is done, the electoral process. Secondly, still on the electoral uh, uh, a process, ladies and gentlemen, Oburu Dinga is talking about the IEBC, the mistakes that the Azimio Moja Alliance committed on the IEBC part. Oburu Dinga is telling us that on Rail Odinga's side or the Azimio Longoja Alliance side, they had the four IEBC commissioners. They did not know that that is the mistake that they were doing, but also they understood that. The four IEBC commissioners will actually determine the entire IEBC process because they thought that Wafula Chebukati, on his capacity, cannot make any decision without involving the four IEBC commissioners. So they had them at hand. But William Ruto, on the other side, he had Wafula Chebukati. Wafula Chebukati was the decision maker. He had the powers according to the constitution. As the IEBC, uh, you know, leader, he had full powers to make the decision on how the electoral process will be done, will be conducted in the IEBC and everything. So William Samuel Ruto had Wafula Chebukati was decision maker but Ray Lodinga had the four IEPC commissioners. That is how William Ruto outsmarted them on the IEPC sector. Also still on the electoral process and still on the IEPC, ladies and gentlemen, Oburo Dinga is telling us that Ray Lamolo Dinga allowed the IEPC chairman of Ulaji Bukati to bring in the Venezuelans to support or uh, to carry out the uh, election or the, the, the electoral process, you know, they contributed their way out. So immediately, reloading, in fact, reloading even was not focused on Wafula Chebukati simply because he knew very well that he had the four IEBC commissioners. So Wafula Chebukati making that decision to bring in the Venezuela, Venezuelans, that is the beginning of the fall of Raila Molodinka. And also, Opuru Dinka is telling us that, first of all, even allowing Wafula Jebugati in that office as the IEPC chairman was actually their mistake. They should have considered Wafula Jebugati to be kicked out from the IE, as the IEPC chairman before, way before the election was conducted. That should be their number one priority. But they did not see that. So William Ruto took his chances. William Ruto was focused, he knew what he was doing, and that is why he outsmarted Raila Monodinka and Uhuru Mwekekinyata and also the entire Azmiolo Moja Alliance using the IEBC and the electoral process. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, now let us go straight into the system, the deep state, or the security. Oburo Dinga is talking about two major issues here on how William Ruto outsmarted them on the deep state and the system. First of all, Oburo Dinga is telling us that the Azimio Lomoja Alliance and Raila Amolo Dinga, together even with Uhuru Mugi Kenyatta, thought that the system was all about the president. Uhuru Mugi Kenyatta is there. So, Definitely, he is the system, he is the deep state. And that is why, if I can take you a little bit backwards, Oboru Dinga was, during the campaign period, he was saying that Reno Dinga used to win elections, but he lacked the deep state and the system. But this time round, they had Uhuru Mugekinyata, therefore they had the system. So basically, 
the system is not about the president alone. Uhuru Mwike Kenyatta alone. William Samuel Ruto had actually uh, took or taken uh, the portions of the system at the deep state because he was the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Uhuru Mwike Kenyatta was not the only one to determine the system at the deep state. Also, William Samuel Ruto had infiltrated inside Uhuru Mwike Kenyatta. So, basically, William Ruto also had the deep state, not Uhuru Mwike Kenyatta alone. So, there was a faction of the deep state that was supporting Uhuru Kenyatta. There was still another faction of the deep state that did not want Raila Amolo Dinka. Therefore, they had the option of supporting William Samuel Ruto. So, Uhuru Dinka is telling us that William Ruto had taken the portion of the deep state and the system and the security. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, Oburo Dinga is telling us that the Asimio Lomboja Alliance or also Oburo Mwage Kenyatta had kicked out William Ruto from the government. Yet, uh, they did not understand that William Ruto himself had taken several stakes of Oburo Mwage Kenyatta's government. So they chased him from the government they did not understand that William Ruto, when he was chased away, he went away with several stakes of Uhuru Mwike Kenyatta's government. That is how uh, William Ruto outsmarted them. Because remember that William Ruto, as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, he used to attend the security planning meetings. So therefore, he understood very well. That is why I've always maintained on this platform that if Rigati Gashagwa at his own capacity right now, as we speak, will play his cards very well. Simply because he is the deputy president of Kenya, a lot is happening. So he has the opportunity, if he will change, to take uh, the position of becoming the president of the Republic of Kenya, if he will play his cards very well. Because he is almost there and he is very much well updated. If he becomes very sharp on his side, everything will be okay. So that was it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below concerning this analysis. Do you agree with Oburo Dinga or not? And the reasons that you have. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.